We've had our good days and we've had our bad days. Guam Fire Department spokesperson Cherika Chargaloff referring to the shortage in personnel to man medic, rescue and engine units. The shortage has taken its toll, forcing the shutdown of a handful of units. Ideally, we have none. There are days where we have one. And of course, over drill weekend, we've um, experienced our shortest, which was four units down. But despite the shutdown of some medics on any given day and possible wait times, Chargolov wants to reassure residents that their E911 center is trained to provide callers with pre-arrival instructions. We do have first responder units, um, fire trucks, rescue units, that are able to respond to the scene and assist with the patient until an ambulance transport unit becomes available to take that patient to the hospital. It was just two weeks ago when Fire Chief Dan Stone appeared on the link with Chris and Sabrina, detailing GFD's lack of manpower. We are definitely seeing, you know, starting to uh, feel the challenges in that area. Uh, our staffing, uh, you know, with people retiring, because uh, people did retire during COVID. Um, people have retired early on this year. Uh, we've had retirements in 2019. So um, we are definitely working with the administration to try and address that and get that staffing, um, you know, for the hires. Uh, and, and promotions. Promotions are very important to me right now uh, because we do have a little bit of a gap in our first line supervision. Um, and so we've been working very closely with the administration and it looks like we're going to be making some progress in that area here soon. Chargolov says the bulk of the challenge is mainly attributed to retirements. For fiscal year 2021, there have been 10 retirements to date with an anticipated seven more by the end of the year. We do have multiple um, personnel out for uh, military deployment and or annual training. Um, on top of that, we have our onesies, twosies on annual leave and I believe two on paternity. To offset lack of manpower. Our battalion chiefs have been working hand in hand, both the, both the north, south and our rescue commanders um, to shuffle around their personnel and or realign units to ensure that there's the maximum amount of coverage throughout the island as possible. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfres.